Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R330 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on Windows Server operating systems. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R330 server. Do us a favor, if finding things video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's uh, let's hop into it. Uh, this video is going to be specifically focused on Windows Server operating systems. Uh, so we're going to start with the compatible ones, and then we're going to show you how to uh, install it. So let's start with the compatible versions. There is uh, Windows 2008 R2, 2012, 2012 R2, 2016, and 2019 LTSC. Uh, what we're going to actually do is uh, install 2016. 16 uh, in this uh, video and we're going to show you step-by-step -step instructions. Let's get going. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas and today I will be showing you how to install Windows Server 2016. Firstly, we are going to install Windows Server 2016 locally onto our machine. In order to get started, we will need our server with some type of storage option. This could be an external drive, a USB drive, a SAS or SATA drive plugged into the back plane. In this case, we're going to go ahead and use a SATA drive that we're going to directly plug into the backplane. We're also going to need a Windows Server 2016 ISO file. You can download this directly from Microsoft's website, but we will also provide you a link in the description below. Another thing that is important to note is that you will need a Windows Server 2016 license key in order to have full functionality within the OS, but in order to do the installation itself, you only need the ISO file. This key is something you're going to need to purchase. Um, like I said, it's not needed to do the installation itself, but if you want the full functionality of the operating system, and let's say this is something you're using in your business or you're using it for enterprise purposes or even maybe personal use, you're going to need that license key in order to have the full functionality of the operating system itself. So once we have this ISO file, we're going to go ahead and move it onto a USB flash drive and then we can plug it into our server and with that we can start the installation process. The installation itself will not require an active internet connection to the server but in order to access the Microsoft's website to download the ISO file you will need an active internet connection. Again like I mentioned earlier the ISO file download link will be provided in the description below. Firstly you want to go ahead and power on your server and then during post press F11 so we can enter the boot manager. Once the boot manager loads, you want to go ahead and press one shot UEFI boot menu. And in this menu, it'll show you where we have our USB drive installed. So we want to go ahead and click on the option representing the USB flash drive. In doing so, we'll automatically start the Windows 2016 installation. Installation loads is pretty straightforward. We just go ahead and follow the following steps. Firstly, we are going to pick a language, click next, and then install now. Next, we're going to pick the version of the operating system to install. We're going to go ahead and go with the desktop experience. You don't have to do this, but I do recommend researching the different options to see which one best fits your use case. I'm going to go ahead and click next after we've selected the version. Right here, we just want to accept the license terms. And then here, we got to pick the type of installation that we want. So we're going to do a custom install. If this is a fresh installation, you want to go ahead and do the custom install. But if you're upgrading from a previous version of Windows, go ahead and do the upgrade. Here, we're going to pick the drive that we want to install our OS onto. So now, all of the Windows Server 2016 files are going to be copied onto our drive. So we're just going to go ahead and fast forward real quick while this installs. Once that is finished, our system is going to restart and it's going to boot back into Windows. Right here, we want to create a password for our system. So this is the password you're going to use to actually log into the OS itself. So it's important that you memorize this password. This password can be anything that you want. And once we've created a password, go ahead and click finish. All right, so once we get to this screen, press Control, Alt, Delete to unlock. And here we're going to go ahead and enter that password that we just created so we can go ahead and log into the operating system. And there we have it. We have successfully installed Windows Server 2016 locally onto our server. If you found this video, go ahead, leave a like, smash that subscribe. And if you're interested in purchasing a custom configured server, whether it's Dell, HP, Supermicro, Cisco, uh, we have plenty in stock. So go ahead and message us at sales at cloudninjas.com, sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, take care.